Hey everybody, what's up? It's Mackenzie Chriswell here. Today, I'm going to show you a little quick trick that I figured out literally seconds ago. It involves Google Inbox. Wait, what is that on my dock? Is that a Google Inbox OS X app? I'm going to grab my phone real quick here, and I'm going to send myself an email. It's send it hitting send right now, and... Got a notification. That was a little loud. Didn't know I had my volume turned up so high. We'll have to mess with that. If we go ahead, refresh Google Inbox by just hitting the Inbox button. I did get an email from myself. Now I have two notifications on my Inbox. It's a fully functioning Google Inbox app. If I want to open up an email here that I've sent, I can look at it. I can use it just the way that I would. I get the smart replies. I can reply. I can compose a new email. And if you know anything about Google Inbox, if you use the app yourself, you'll know this is pretty significant because while Google Inbox has an amazing Android app and, and a really good uh, iOS app, no love for the desktop. In form of PC, Linux, OS X, nothing, no love. Uh, there is a browser. Uh, it's, it's a fully functioning Google Inbox, but the problem is can't get notifications, can't get, can't get anything from this. Uh, and there's some workarounds like using Gmail to send notifications, but then you're using two email. There's a lot of workarounds to get this to work, but this is the best one. Google Inbox on your desktop. No more using the Apple Mail client, no more AirMail, no more Gmail web apps, none of that. So let me show you how I figured this out. So there'll be a link in the description. Follow that. You'll get to this page right here, uh, and if you're in on OS X, it'll go ahead and fire up the App Store and load Boxy, email client for Inbox by Gmail. Is this is this a third-party Google Inbox app? Well, I'm, I'm glad you asked. Yes, it is. Six bucks. Now, if you're a cheapskate, you don't want to spend the six bucks, that's fine. I feel you. Times are rough, you know? Might have uh, Donald Trump as a president. We might not have six bucks left to spend on email clients. That's fine. Go to the second link. They got a 14 day free trial. Click on that and it will download a zip file with a DMG. Next step, go to your downloads folder. If you don't have the sweet little downloads folder here on your dock like I do, just go to go, go to downloads. Gotcha. Go ahead and click on the boxy zip file. Open it up. Give it a second to compress using the OSX compression utility. Don't need to download that. And we get boxy trial. First thing we're gonna do first though, is we're gonna open up a new finder. We don't hit command in. We're gonna come over to applications because we need to drag this in here. But go ahead and go to boxy trial, right click on this, get info. And now we can edit the information. So we're gonna go to boxy trial. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna rename this inbox. And the second thing we're gonna want is the actual inbox logo. So we're gonna to come to Google, we're gonna Google inbox PNG. See what we get? We get a PNG of the uh, Google inbox logo. We'll go ahead and just view the full size big image. Don't know why I just opened up three tabs. Here we have the uh, full size PNG. Let's right click, copy image. I'm not gonna link this in the description. You can do that on your own. Minimize, come back out to it. Google inbox, click on this little logo, it'll light up in with the blue little halo around it. Hit and listen close. Command V. Got the Google inbox logo. It's all hooked up. Drag it in the applications folder. Problem solved. You're done. Go ahead and fire this baby up. Google inbox or just inbox. Make sure you go through the warnings. It's like a thing from the internet. It wants to be all check. Make sure you're not putting viruses on here. Put it right next to Chrome and Plex or whatever, wherever you want on your dock. You don't even have to put it on your dock. That's just like an, a secondary option. All right. We got it all the way installed. I'm going to send myself one more email here. Uh, opening up the app on my phone, hitting compose, typing, 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 finding a GIF, pasting it in there, and Sending, give it a moment. Bam, audio is still just as loud, don't know why. Click on inbox, good to go. 
We even got we click on this. We got a little GIF. It's not moving. Don't know if there's not GIF support in this app. Probably would have been a good thing to check out before making the video. But uh, and now, thanks to this little tip I figured out, I have successfully had a conversation with myself. One more little special tip just for the people that hang on till the end. Click on Boxy up here. That's the name of the app. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't name it. Go to Preferences. Slam it into dark mode. Slam the system into dark mode. And now, now my friend, now, we are full on, we, we are Goosifer. Goosifer, look that up. Breaking into people's private email servers, ruining their campaign. It's just another Tuesday for Goosifer, for me, for Goosifer. You're welcome, world. I'll see you next time.